Hello, Victor Tay from the church in Liverpool. This Sunday I preached on Ephesians chapter 3 and there's some great truths in this chapter um, that you'll learn if you listen to the whole sermon. But just a short overview, the chapter starts with Paul explaining that the truth of believing Gentiles being fellow citizens or fellow heirs with the Jews was not known until now. But we can learn these revelations by reading them in the scriptures. So this tells us that you can't get a full picture of who are God's chosen people from the Old Testament scriptures alone. And this is why there is a lot of false teaching on who are the real Jews. You know, it isn't just physical descendants of Abraham. It is believers on Jesus Christ. And, you know, this is a truth that Paul is being persecuted for. So Paul being the apostle to the Gentiles, he didn't want the Ephesians to be discouraged and quit when they consider the sort of persecution and the trials that he is facing for preaching these truths. And he wants them to know that they can have confidence and boldness in the Lord. Now, what is that confidence and boldness based on? What's well, based on the love of Christ. So at the second half of the chapter, Paul is telling the Ephesians that he is praying for them to be strong and stable in the love of Christ. And Christ's love is described as four-dimensional, breadth and length and depth and height. So it's like something out of this world, and it is, because the world, the way the world loves is it loves those that love it. But the way God loves, God doesn't only love those that love him. He loves his enemies, Romans 5.8. But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So what is the right motivation to serve God? Most people and most Christians are motivated by fear, a fear of man, a fear of loss, a fear of punishment if they wrongly believe work salvation, or a fear of chastisement by their loving Heavenly Father. But what should be our right motivation? Our strength and stability should be motivated by love when we comprehend what the love of Christ did for us. So I encourage you to listen to the full sermon and you'll get all the scriptures that go along with it. A link will be in the description and on the end screen. If this video was a blessing to you, give it a thumbs up. If you want to get our sermon, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to learn more about our church, you can visit our website, tcil.org.au. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your support and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.